Christmas will be here before you know it. And if you're already trying to figure out what to get those people on your list, then you'll be so glad you stuck around for more Explore Tulsa. Hey, you got me on your list this year's TV? Well, looks like right now you're on the naughty list. What? Why? Wait, you did do that trip in Vegas. Oh, one great gift idea has to be this thing that many celebs have been seen wearing lately. And it comes from the Tulsa fashion designers at Two Guys Bow Ties. I think anybody who's willing to wear a bow tie is willing to kind of make of a statement, willing to, to stand outside the norm. And so I always like the idea of wearing a bow tie because I, I'm kind of a contrarian. I always want to kind of do something different. But uh, the regular bow ties were just, a, there was a little too, I, it just wasn't quite my style. So I, I like the kind of the masculine touch that, that the wood adds to it. You know, I still feel really manly wearing it. I, you know, I feel like I can have my five o'clock shadow and, and wear my wooden bow tie and it, it all go together. I'm Tim Pasley with the Two Guys Bow Tie Company. Uh, a buddy and I had the idea to uh, make wooden bow ties. I was just in the shop late one night um, working on a couple side projects. Uh, I build furniture and props and stuff in the past and had the idea for a wooden bow tie. Um, started looking around online and I'd seen that there were a couple guys doing them, but there wasn't anybody doing exactly uh, kind of what I had in mind or what I had pictured. And so uh, Adam and I started playing with some ideas. Um, we ended up with the design that we have now. Adam made a website and uh, got our business started. So we launched right before Christmas and uh, it was a good thing, but it was, it was a good thing and a bad thing. Um, we happened to get on this blog called Uncrate. Um, it's just a, it's a blog mainly for guys and it, uh, they just show random products that they think are cool, a lot of special edition, and um, we happened to get, some, get them some of our stuff and they, they put it on their site the very beginning of December. So it was, you know, it was right at shopping time, everybody was looking for Christmas gifts. Luckily, um, it wasn't just astronomical because we, we couldn't have handled it. I mean, we were still kind of figuring out how to do things. We thought we would, you know, just get some stuff, try to sell some stuff for Christmas. You know, sales picked up quickly and so we, you know, we started trying to get equipment together more quickly. Uh, we worked like crazy that first month and, uh, but you know, we survived and uh, it, it gave us a lot of momentum moving into the new year. So um, from there, we, you know, we ended up in Esquire, we ended up in uh, GQ in France. And uh, so that, that just kind of got the ball rolling and, and gave us the confidence to keep going forward. I'm a huge basketball fan. Luckily, uh, when the NBA changed that they established a dress code, it kind of became uh, the playoffs were kind of fashion season for NBA. And so uh, last year I, I got in touch with the, style, the stylist for Mike Conley. And the next week he, he wore one and it happened to be during the, during the series against the, the Thunder. And so uh, that was obviously a huge highlight for us. And, and it was, you know, it was a funny thing because uh, the next night I was, I was working in the shop and uh, about midnight my buddy calls and says, uh, hey, they just talked about your bow tie on TV. And I, I was like, Ernie Johnson, the guy who does the, the color commentary for TNT, he always wears bow tie. And so the sideline reporter had caught Mike coming, coming out of the press conference and just did a quick interview and said, hey, Ernie always wears the bow tie. You know, you know maybe he should try the wooden bow tie. And um, so Ernie said, hey, send me some bow ties. And um, within 10 minutes, he said, hey, I, I assume you heard Ernie wanted some bow ties. Here's his address. And so. Um, we got to send them some bow ties and we made some fun ones for Shaq. Shaq and Charles were kind of ragging on them, you know, saying they look like a dog bone. So Charles is always talking about his dog. So I put their faces on each side and I, I cut his to look like a, a dog bone. And then I made Shaq's at least twice as big as our normal bow ties. And, and we put the Superman uh, fabric on it. And I, I about died when I saw it. Cause I mean, he grabbed it and it, it looked like a normal size bow tie. I mean, he is just a massive guy. So uh, that, that, I mean, it, it's just been a lot of fun. We're in Tulsa and we're in Oklahoma because that's where we're from. Uh, I went to the University of Tulsa, stuck around, we bought a house, I worked on that, and it's, it's become home. This is where we're from, this is what we, uh, you know, Adam, Adam grew up kind of all over the place. He spent some time in Indonesia, down in Texas, but uh, his family ended up here. He went to OSU and uh, stuck around afterwards and 
this is just where it is. Uh, the, th the great thing about Tulsa is that they support their local businesses and they allow us to be competitive, kind of having mentors that, that when we first started out, we did a lot of our business online, but we didn't know how to do the wholesale. We didn't really know. And uh, so we got to talk to a lot of the local businesses and they helped us out. Hey, you know, uh, think about this, do it this way. This is what works for us. You know, if, if you can do this, it makes it a lot easier and, you know, maybe get your foot in the door. And so uh, there's just been so much support from Tulsa, whether it's been exposure, whether it's just anything. People wear them, they love it, and uh, so it, it's just good to be from Tulsa.